Are you looking for the best personal item bag that fits just right under the seat in front of you when you travel on an airplane? I have three fantastic options to share with you today and they are all available on Amazon. Hi y'all, no, seriously, I don't talk like that. I don't know why I did that. Hi y'all, if this is your first time here, then welcome, my name is Lori and I'm super glad to have you. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping back in. Let's get to it. In my quest to become a more efficient air traveler, I quickly learned that my personal item bag was just as important as the luggage I chose. I needed something that was going to carry more than a purse, but still fit just perfectly up under that seat in front of me on the airplane when I fly. In trying to figure all this out, I made some mistakes, but I finally figured out the three options that work the very, very best for me. And I am saving my absolute favorite, which is not the most expensive option for last. So hang out until the end because you'll be glad you did. The first option I have for you is this shoulder bag. And let me show you why this is such a great option. It's such a great size that you would think that maybe it wouldn't fit up under that seat, but trust me, I've pushed it up under the seat in front of me many times and it fits just fine. So the first thing I love about it is the size. The next thing I love about it is that it has a luggage sleeve because a luggage sleeve is a must have item for me. If I can't slide this thing onto my luggage, it's just not anything I'm ever even gonna consider taking with me. It's a no-go. So it does have a luggage sleeve. I love that. It's made of a synthetic material that is super easy to clean. And it does have a pocket in the front for my passport so I can access it really easily. What I don't like about this pocket in the front for my passport is that even though it's super convenient and great to access, it doesn't zip close. There's no zipper on it. So it doesn't feel the most secure. And I'm always a little nervous if I put my passport in there. What I will do is I'll you know, put my passport in there right as I'm getting ready to go through customs. And then as soon as I go through customs and I'm going through security, I put my passport inside the bag and zip it closed because I don't want to risk losing my passport when I'm traveling. One of the things about this bag that is really great is it does have integrated storage that is designed for wet items. So if you're rushing to get somewhere and you've got a wet swimsuit, you've got a perfect place to put it without getting any of your other items wet. And so that's something I really appreciate. It also has another integrated pocket on the other side, this one's very shallow. So it's mostly just for like for my phone, earbuds, things like that. Now, one of the things that makes it a little bit harder to keep myself organized with this bag is that it doesn't have any more than those two integrated zipping compartments that help keep me organized. So what I do when I am carrying this shoulder bag with me is I carry this set of pouches to put all my little doodads in to help keep me organized while I'm traveling. And you can see that works really, really well. Another feature that is not present in this bag, but is only necessary if you're carrying a computer, is that there is no dedicated computer or tablet storage in this bag. So if you are traveling with a computer or a tablet that you need to protect, you're going to need an additional sleeve for that piece of equipment just to keep it protected while you're traveling because this bag doesn't have any type of padding in it that you could expect would be able to protect that equipment very well. Now here is what I absolutely love about this bag. This for me is a perfect double duty bag. And what I mean by double duty is that it really serves my needs well on an airplane if I'm not needing to travel with electronics. And it is a great beach and pool bag. So if I am going on a trip where I'm going to have a lot of beach time and a lot of pool time and I'm not taking my computer, this is a go-to bag because it serves the under the seat personal item bag purpose very, very well, but it also serves the beach or pool bag purpose very, very well. So this bag is a great option if that's something you're looking for. Now, the next option I wanna share with you today is a fantastic option. It is the Briggs & Riley cabin bag. And let me show you why it is so fantastic. It is designed to work seamlessly with all the other Briggs & Riley pieces. So if you already own some Briggs & Riley luggage pieces, the cabin bag would be a great addition to the pieces you already have because it is just designed to work with those pieces and it does work really well. And that's something I can really appreciate. It simply has to be able to integrate with my other luggage as I'm going through the airport. Otherwise, it's just something that I'm not interested in. I am not going to be troubled with something that doesn't fit easily onto the luggage that I'm already carrying. Briggs & Riley luggage is just absolutely top quality. It has a little pocket right in the very front that is the perfect size to carry your passport and it zips closed so you can feel more secure leaving it in there. Within this first exterior pocket, it has a padded space that is perfect for a laptop or even your tablet. The Briggs & Riley bag also has an integrated water bottle carrier 
that folds flat and zips up when you're not using it, but easily holds your water bottle or even your Yeti when you need it to. Now the interior of the bag has features that are just as great. Let me show you those. The interior of the bag has two more spaces that would be great options for a laptop or a tablet. It also has these integrated side pockets that are mesh, so they're breathable if you need them to be. And it, you can see it's just a great space. Like you can put a lot in this. It just holds a lot of stuff. Plus, it cleans up really, really easily. But my favorite feature of this Briggs & Lottie cabin bag is that it is on wheels, which means that when I'm traveling with check luggage, I can check my bag and still have a roller bag to accompany me all the way onto the airplane. So if you are somebody who's just not interested in carrying a lot of extra weight when you travel on your upper body, then this Briggs & Riley cabin bag is a fantastic option for you because it is on great high quality wheels. The wheels on this bag are the same high quality wheels that are used on their other luggage pieces. They're just on a smaller compact bag that fits right up under the seat in front of you on the airplane. That means when you're boarding the airplane, you could just walk this bag in front of you or behind you and not have to worry about carrying anything on the upper part of your body that might be uncomfortable for you. And for that reason alone, I love this bag. But the Briggs & Riley cabin bag is not my ultimate favorite bag because it does have a couple of challenges. First of all, it's expensive. So if you're not somebody who travels a lot and you're willing to invest in high quality pieces that are gonna last you for years and years and years and years, then it might not be the best choice for you. If you just don't need something of that caliber, then I would say it's probably not worth the money if you're only gonna use it once or twice a year. Another thing about it that makes it just not my absolute favorite is the way it does attach to my other luggage pieces. This, this pull and twist mechanism, while it's effective, is cumbersome and just not my favorite. It's just not the most convenient. Another challenge for me with this Briggs & Riley bag is that it's not a double duty bag. Like this Briggs & Riley bag is not going with me to the beach and it's not gonna go with me to the pool. So that's why I pretty much only use it if I'm going to be traveling with checked luggage because the checked luggage allows me the extra luxurious space that I need to carry an additional bag that'll serve those purposes at the pool or the beach. All right. We're here, we made it. Let's talk about my absolute most favorite personal item bag ever. It is this backpack. And as you can see, it has my number one requirement, the trolley sleeve, but it has so much more that makes it just an incredible option. Let me show you. It has integrated compartments galore. First of all, my favorite compartment is on the back of the backpack. And this is where I like to keep my passport when I'm traveling. It's almost a hidden pocket that does zip closed. So I feel like my passport is really, really secure. And that's something I absolutely appreciate. On each side of the backpack, it has a space that is perfectly sized for a water bottle. And I've got two of those. Now I don't often carry two water bottles, but when we are using this bag on an excursion or something when my husband and I are traveling, he will often carry the backpack for me and that means he's carrying a water bottle for him and one for me because he is a very kind gentleman like that. This very front pocket is protected by snaps and then it also zips. So that means you can have an extra layer of security where you're not gonna feel like your things are going to get lost or stolen. Even inside this zipper pocket and this pocket here is protected by RFID technology. So if you're worried about electronic identity theft, that will protect you from that. It even has an integrated keychain, which is the perfect place to leave your keys while you're traveling so you don't lose them and not realize it until you get back to your vehicle parked at the airport. So that front section, super, super handy. But before you even get to the interior of the backpack, there's another pocket. And this pocket is really super deep. That's where I like to keep my snacks because it's just so easily accessible. It's deep enough to carry some snacks and it's super convenient. It's nice to have this deep compartment on the front of the backpack that you don't have to open up and shuffle around in to have access to. Now the interior of the backpack is just as impressive. The interior of the backpack, the opening does include a metal frame and that keeps it really stable and really sturdy because you're gonna be using that zipper a lot to get in and out. It has a fantastic padded laptop case integrated into the backpack. And I carry my editing computer, which is a 17 inch computer in here with no problem. And then it's got a pocket in front of that. And this is where I generally keep my computer charging cable. On the opposite side of the backpack, it has two pockets in the front that are not zippered. And that's where I usually keep my phone or I usually keep my mouse here and some other cables here. And then another zipper pocket behind that. 
This pocket is not as deep as the other pockets, so that makes it the perfect spot for something that you just need to be able to grab quickly, something small that you don't wanna to have to go digging for to get to. It has a large pocket on each side of the backpack. So you can see this backpack has just got tons of integrated storage compartments within it. So I absolutely love it. It's also big and deep so that you can put just a ton of stuff in it. On a couple of just like weekend trips, I've gone with just this backpack and been just fine. You can see how deep it is and how much it will carry. Now, one of the super special features about this backpack that I really love was this integrated pocket that is for a power bank. And you can see if you look way down in there, can you see that? I've got my power bank in there, so I never have to go searching for it. And it has this integrated USB charging port that allows me to charge my items. Like this is the cable I use for my phone and my watch without having to pull the power bank out. So I can charge my tablet, my phone, or my watch by just plugging into this USB port, which is attached on the inside here to the power bank. That is a level of convenience that I just absolutely love in this piece. Now this backpack has been carried all over the world and you can see it's still in great shape. I've had it for a few years and I've carried it many, many places and it's just still in really great shape. It cleans super easily and it's turned out to be incredibly durable. It can even be used as a beach bag or a pool bag while I'm traveling. So it does serve that double duty that I'm looking for. But there is just one feature that is just not my favorite about the backpack. When I am traveling, if I do happen to use this backpack as a beach bag, it's got so many compartments, it takes me quite a while to clean every single one and make sure I don't have any sand in it anywhere. But that's my only complaint. And I don't even think that's really a complaint because it is absolutely worth cleaning every little nook and cranny of the backpack to be able to take it to the beach. I love it. I, I love everything about it. When you see me out in the world, be sure to say hi because I love it when people stop and say hi out in the world. There's a 95% chance you're gonna see me with this backpack because it's just that awesome. And given that it's a backpack with these great padded straps, it's easy and comfortable to carry. So it's completely hands-free. And that's something I can really appreciate because especially on those long travel days, you know, like the 16, 17, 18, 20 hour travel days, you just wanna be able to have your hands free to just, you know, stick them in your pocket or whatever. You don't wanna to have to be worrying about keeping track of all your doodads and all your stuff. And so hands-free is a really great option if you're somebody who doesn't mind carrying a little bit of weight with your upper body. Now, if I'm traveling to a shorter trip and a beach pool type destination, and I'm not needing to take a computer or really any electronics with me, I do prefer the shoulder bag because the shoulder bag is just the best beach and pool bag. I really, really enjoy having that available to me when I just wanna head out to the beach or head out to the pool when I'm out traveling. So if you're somebody who doesn't mind carrying the little extra weight with the strength of your upper body and you have beach and pool destinations in mind and you don't really need to carry a computer or anything like that, the shoulder bag might be a great option for you too. Now, if I'm taking a trip where I'm using checked luggage, then you're likely to find me with the Briggs and Riley bag for my carry-on piece. If you are looking for super high quality that is going to last incredible durability and that quiet luxury look, Briggs and Riley pieces cannot be beat. It, it is a simple yet stylish piece that is just the top notch quality. Like I don't even think you can buy any better. If that's what's most important to you, you will love the Briggs and Riley piece. And it's on wheels. So that makes it super convenient. But the backpack, the backpack is my favorite and it is almost always my go-to personal item bag when I'm traveling carry-on only. So in my opinion, I think the backpack is just the very best option for just about anybody who's capable of carrying a little extra weight using only their upper body strength. So that's it. Those are my top three personal item bags. You can get each and every one of them on Amazon. I will link them down below and also I will pin them in the comments because a lot of you have reached out to me and told me to start pinning things in the comments. It's just easier in the comments than it is in the description. So I'm going to start doing that. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate your time and hanging out with me for a few minutes today. It's been fun to see you. If you're interested in hanging out again in the future from time to time, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you want to, if you're ready. If you're not ready to subscribe or you don't want to subscribe ever, that's totally cool. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal anyway, because you always have an open invitation to come back and hang out anytime you like, because I will be here or, you know, out in the world somewhere with one of these personal item bags making videos. And I can't wait to see you in that next video. So until I do see you over here, bye y'all.